I like Canadian girls. My name's Candy Canadiana. A lot of the time I have to travel far away from home for work. And I mean, who wouldn't miss all of this snow and salt trucks and cold weather and frozen nose and hands and feet? So when I travel, I always miss our home and native land. Thank God they were airing episodes of Due South when I lived in the States. Hi, Paul. We're going to talk about Canada's favorite sport, hockey. Now you can't have hockey without your grapes. Don Cherry. Not now, David. Not now. Oh, okay. Now, David. Now, I'm going to introduce you to my favorite Canadian expat. Mr. David Foster the greatest musical producer of our time. I remember your 1988 Calgary Olympic song. Do you guys remember? Yeah, I think you do. It went like this. Oh, I know you know it. After David heard me sing, he knew he wanted to work with me, and we've been working together ever since. Right, David? Really? You think it's ready? <laughs> Wait, one minute. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Okay. okay, so David would like me to sing to you a little bit of our new song. It's called You're Hot. Do you, do you want to sit down? Oh, he's going to sit down for this. Okay, here we go. You're hot like my electric blanket. You're hot like my electric blanket. You hold me in the night and you wrap me oh so tight. You're hot like my electric blanket. On today's Oot in a Boot section, you'll notice that I'm going to be sporting a typical Canadian cold. <coughs> And speaking of a cold, we're going to go to a place in Canada where we actually worship the cold. We worship it so much that we freeze ice indoor all year round so we can play on it. Yes, I'm talking about Canada's holy grail, the hockey arena. Come on in! Preparing the ice takes a lot of hard work. First, you have to shave the ice as best as you can. Then you have to scoop away all the little bits that you just shaved. Then you've got to keep it nice and cold and spray it down with some water. And after that, you're going to have to take that squeegee and squeegee it so it's nice, smooth, and flat. And this is the exact process that's happening when you see the great Zamboni machine. Wow, that's a pretty nice Zamboni you got there. Is that a Model 520? 8,800 pounds when fully loaded with water, isn't it? It's got a Ford Industrial four-cylinder engine with 53 horsepower, eh? That's hot. You want to take me for a ride? Yes. So, this thing runs on propane, eh? Now, how many miles per gallon does it get? Uh. And what's its top speed? Uh. So I guess we can't make it to Toronto on this thing, eh? On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, everybody. Now don't try this at home, okay? Because not everybody can drive a Zamboni or bug someone to drive a Zamboni for them. So please don't try this at home. Thank you. Mommy and Daddy are going to be so disappointed in me. Oh, there's a door. This is what
what happens when you misbehave and don't follow rules? I wasn't allowed to ride the Zamboni, so I got stuck in the penalty box. <laughs> Now, when you're watching a hockey game in an arena, you always have to be very careful and look for flying pucks and flying body checks. So, I'm rolling. You got no legs? Hello out there. We're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. Tension oh rolls. My God. The whistle I got blows and the puck goes down. Oh, what's well, a little puck every now and then? After collecting and shaving the ice, it must be a relief to dump your load at the end of the day, eh? Uh... Where do you dump your load? I'll show you. Yeah. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Second period. Where players dash with skates of flash, the home team trails behind. When you see a load outside of your hockey rink, remember this was dumped by a Zamboni. And a lot of people may have spit in those shavings or, or got cut on the ice. And people were skating on this stuff. So don't eat it and don't make a snow cone with it because it's not going to be good for you. Okay, everybody, thanks for coming out. And we'll see you next time on What's Up Canuck? Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Third period, last game in the playoffs, too. Oh, take me where the hockey players face off down the rink. And the Stanley Cup is all filled up for the champs who win the drink. Now the final flick of a hockey stick and a one gigantic scream. The puck is in, the home team wins the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game.